Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network. You can catch us on GoLeopards.com. Today I'm going to drop the pen. I'm going to talk about being positive. And that goes for everybody in Leopard Nation out there. you got to have the power of positive thinking. Let's talk about that a little bit. Let's take you inside the locker room and what these kids and these coaches are feeling. I've been there for both as a player and as a coach and now as a broadcaster. you got to concentrate on the pluses. Concentrate on the runs by Ross Sherman. Concentrate on the way we get to the quarterback when we blitz. Concentrate on those two great corners and how they cover and how Jared Roberts is in the back back there picking off passes. Those are the positive things we have to hang our head on. We have to negate the negatives. No excuses. There are no excuses for missing tackles. No excuses for not catching passes. No excuses. Get up and get it done. If you're in the stands, get up, get off your feet and cheer for the Leopards, and there are no excuses, whether you're a fan, a player, a family member, anything. Game success. Well, let me take you through the games. At Sacred Heart, Ross Sherman returned the first kickoff for a touchdown. That's a positive. Against uh, Robert Morris, Lafayette won 50-3 with three interceptions. Jared Roberts, Crawford, and Mark Dodd all returning for touchdowns. That's a positive. Uh, against William & Mary, we had the 19-9 lead. First half, played one of the best first half we've played the entire year. Move on down the line, a physical Wagner team. We beat them in the end with two incredible drives and runs by Ross Sherman. Fordham played, I think, the best first half physically, defensively against Fordham that they saw the entire year. Remember, that game was 10-3 to going into the second quarter. Uh, the Georgetown game, we won another close game. Learn how to win the close games. These are positives. The Harvard and Holy Cross game, both games we could have won, both games we put drives together back to back and just fell a little bit short. So let, let's think about those things. Think about your seniors, Ross Sherman, Luke Charlanzio. Put your helmet on and go inside the mind of Luke Charlanzio. I'm very close with Luke. There's nothing worse than having to sit there and feel helpless and not being able to play. That young man had a couple games left, doesn't get to play those last three games. Think about Luke. Think about being positive for him. Think about guys like JR and Kasha, two defensive players that are struggling right now to get off the field, but they need your help. They need you to stay positive. So whether you're a coach, whether you're a player, whether you're a fan, a family member, anybody involved with Leopard Nation, be positive. And let's go back to what Frank always talks about, pride, purpose, and passion. And remember, your future begins with your next thought. And that's how you stay positive. And that's how we not only get the pride, the purpose, and the passion, but with the power of positive thinking. This week, Bucknell.